Jasmine Shallow, Samuel, sorry. I'm so acquainted with this Jasmine Shallow, you know, so. <laughs> so the lead, Jasmine Samuel. I knew her for a very long time. Actually, I was living at their home in Fair Hall. I spent some time there with them. So we all grew up together until she would have left for another state. It was so sudden when I heard about her passing. And I, I was so dumb. I am out of words right now to say, but just to say to the family, be strong because in spite of everything, we know that God is with you. You just have to continue to be focused and to continue to ask God to be with you. If there is anyone in the family as well who have not given their life to Christ, I would take this opportunity to urge you, it is not too late now, so don't let it be too late. Because as I can see, when I looked at Jasmine in the casket, I can realize that she was a servant of God. So I encourage you, the other members of the family, to give your life to Christ because he is the one that will keep you and will be with you for the rest of your life. So once again, my deepest condolence to you and may her soul rest in peace. Good afternoon, everyone. We're singing a tribute to our cousin Jasmine. Bye. 
Good afternoon, everyone. I would just like to sing a song for my cousin. The last time I spoke to her was when my son passed away last year, and she told me to hold your faith. <clears throat> I went to the house where she used to live, the grass have been grown up and it covered a door someone across the street they say i know who you see but she she don't live here anymore she is somewhere
Blessed good afternoon to everyone. So I'm just like to ask the bereaved family to take the last view of the, the body because it's now the time is that we can proceed with the service. So the family can just one view the body for the last because after the casket has been covered, it will not be open again. We stand as the pastor will go down and receive bring up the body. So let us all just stand.
carried across. It'll be carried across. It's not a spiritual battle, it's fine. That's what it, that's what you're coming to me, let me show you what you read out of him. That's what you should come to me, let me show you what you read. That's what you should have come to me before, let me show you what you read. Yes, but eventually we're going to share. This is the problem with that. I love to determine myself alone. Okay, then we're all right. Suppose we have to view the body. Suppose I have to view the body. Not supposed to. Yes. I should be the cast. But still, no problem with that. But I should be the cast quite a bit. No. That's how we normally do. And I make a guy open the cast in the last time, you know. I make somebody open the cast in the last time. I'm supposed to close until I come. So can you please look back? Let me go there. Yes, let me go there. If you want to go, let him go. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin, Worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we carry nothing out. The Lord give it. And the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. A bit faster. A bit faster. Straight up. Go straight. Go ahead. Straight up. It's okay. You just give us all here. Praise the Lord. We just want to welcome each and every one to St. Elizabeth Spiritual Baptist Cathedral. Just want to convey our deepest condolences to the bereaved family of Jasmine Samuel. Which at the last time her brother was here, we had laid him to rest. And I say that I know her mother, Millicent, because they were living on the other side of us. And we used to come over the river to go to be their school. I have known Jasmine and her brother Bernard, but the others I did not know them. So I just want to say on the behalf of my family, the Woodley family, I just want to express our deepest condolences to you all. And I pray God that you will find comfort in the Lord Jesus Christ, because we know he is the one that comforts us in our deepest sadness, especially in times like these, we cannot get accustomed to death. Death is the greatest enemy of mankind. But I just want to let you know that Jesus Christ conquered death on the cross. So that all of us can be free from sin. And live victoriously 
with him in glory. So for those of you who have, who have not yet given your life to Christ, now is the time to do it now before it is too late. For those of you, your mother, your brother, your sister, or whoever she is to you, and if you want to see her again since she gave her life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you will have to give your life to the Lord in order to see your mother or your sister, your aunt or whoever she is to you. And for those who are her friends, you too will have to give your life, otherwise you will end up into a lost eternity. So this afternoon, I just want to give God glory and praise for life this morning. Because we are here. We can see each other. We can talk to each other. But Jasmine can't. Isn't that so? And our time to will come just like her. So we have to make the preparation. We have to be ready. We cannot say that we are getting ready. So we have to be ready and now. So let us give God the glory and the praise as we look to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Eternal Father, who by thy mighty power did raise up our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, strengthen us now in thy Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help us to worship thee with reverence and submissive hearts and to put our whole trust in thy perfect wisdom, power, and love. Bless us, the reading of the words of eternal life, that by steadfastness and by encouragement of the scriptures, we may have hope and be lifted above our darkness and distress into the light and peace of thy presence through Jesus Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, this evening we come in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we come to the home going service of our dear sister, I pray God that her soul may be resting safe into your hands. Hallelujah. And so for those of us who are behind, dear Father, help us this evening, dear Lord, that we will always be ready to meet you when you call us home. God. Oh God, I pray for your blessing upon this service. And I pray, Father, for your Holy Spirit that you will come and dwell with us and abide with us. And as we go through this time, we ask your blessing upon each and every one. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. It's a joyful time. You understand? Because we know who we are in Christ, so we are rejoicing. In the goodness of the Lord, praise God. As our opening hymn, what a friend we have in Jesus. Praise God. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What
us. What today. a friend we have in Jesus. It is only in Jesus and Jesus alone you can have this precious friend. Because you know you have a friend and you will tell them something about yourself or somebody mm -hmm. else and they will take it all over the world. Mm -hmm. But you tell the Lord Jesus Christ and that will be it. Now we have the first reading. Job chapter 19. 25 to 29 verses, Lenisha James will do that reading for us. Job chapter 19, 25 to 29 verses. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at last he will stand upon this, the earth. And after my skin has thus been destroyed, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me. If you say, how we will pursue him, and the root of the matter is found in him, be afraid of the sword, for wrath brings the punishment of the sword, that you may know there is a judgment. Amen. Oh, 
chapter 40, verse 1 to 8, by Petra Dron, or sister. Praise the Lord. Afternoon, everyone. Okay, let's go to the scripture reading. Comfort, comfort my people, said your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord hands double for all her sins. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hills made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged place a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see if together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out, and I said, what shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers falls because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers are and, flower, and the flowers falls, but the word of the Lord endures forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fadeth away, but the word of the Lord endures forever. So we have seen that early in the morning the flower was so beautiful, and as soon as the sun rises up and the heat hit the flower, they bow their head. And that is just us. When our time comes, we too have to pass. Amen. Praise the Lord. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. I hope that all of us who are here, when our roll has been called, we are ready to be with the Lord.
know when the road is fall up your Hallelujah, the praise God. When we get, when well, you have to get in time. When well, you have to be ready. Because I know I will be there. Hallelujah. I know for myself, you have to know for yourself. That's right. Now when the road is called, you will be safely in the arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Now we have some special tributes. And the first one here is for Neva Lewis. And then we have Todd Jacob's son and family. Sasha Richards, her sister, before we get to the eulogy. So you will come up one by one that it is there. Hallelujah. Pleasant good afternoon, church. This is a um, special tribute to the family. God gives life and he takes it away. He is the potter and I am the clay. When I view the last sunset on the cross on the sea, I know sunrise will be waiting for me.
hope that I'm telling you this. Hi, I'm Ari Jacobson, and Jazz was my nanny, and I miss her, and she, I love her, and I love her because she baked with me like banana bread, and she played with me, she taught me how to take care of myself, and I love her and miss her, and I'll always keep her in my heart. From the moment we met Jazz, we knew how special she was. Jazz was part of our family for seven wonderful years and helped us raise the most delicious little boy. And it was a pleasure getting to know her, having her stay with us, teaching us all about parenting. And we will always hold her in our hearts and we miss her so much. And I feel incredibly blessed. Um, in this world, you're very lucky if you come across a, a, a soul like Jasmine and to have her be a part of our lives. Uh, even for a short period of time was so incredibly special. We feel so lucky. Um, so I say thank you. Um, giving an opportunity to know Jasmine's family and how amazing and wonderful they are. And you know, Jasmine really taught us by 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 doing and just being because she's just such an amazing human being. So we love you all. We're sorry we're not able to be there, but we feel so blessed and lucky to be a part of your family and to have been a part of Jasmine's life. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for everyone to, who's attended today and everyone who's attending via uh, online as well. Um, yeah, if you um, were close to my mum, you would know she loves one thing more than God and her family, and that thing was St. Vincent. All she ever spoke about was coming back home and being at home with her family and it's lovely sunshine. So I know she takes pleasure in knowing she's back home forever resting. Uh, I just wanted to read a quick poem as a tribute. Uh, so it goes, if roses grow in heaven, Lord, please pick a bunch for me. Place them in my mouth, my mother's arms, and tell her they're from me. Tell her that I love her and I miss her. And when she turns to smile, place a kiss upon her cheeks and hold her for a while. Because remembering her is easy, I do it every day. But there's an ache within my heart that will never go away. Thank you. And we have a sister, Sasha Richards. Okay. We will have a few courses.
Cooper from the Universal Christian Church and the members here. And I would just like to ask him to come and say a few words on the behalf of the sister and the church in Jesus' name. So let us just welcome him. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, in Psalms 116, verse 15 says, Precious is uh, on the sight of the Lord the death of his saints. Amen. That's right. Amen. Why would the death of someone be so precious to God? Why would God be so happy with someone's death? Because what seems to be sad, what is sad for us, is joyful for God. Why would this happen? Because for God, what matters the most is the soul, not the body. So when we pass away, is the time God is going to meet with the soul, which uh, is what really matters for him. Many people have been worried about the body. We have seen people worry about how to dress up, what to eat, how to live their life, the lifestyle, and so many things. However, few people are concerned about their souls. Few people take care of their souls. So if we want to be with God one day, like uh, Miss Jasmine, I have no doubt that she's with God because she was someone who was taking care of her soul. Even yesterday I spoke to Bishop Carlos from New York. He gave me a testimony about her. On how she was serving God. So I have no doubt that she is with the Lord. But because she was taking care of her soul. I say the same to each one here in this place. The same to me, to myself. If we want to be with the Lord one day. We need to take care of our soul. Amen. Because for God. What matters the most is the salvation of the soul. Amen. Our body soon will perish. But our soul lasts forever. Amen. We need to take care of the soul. This is the word I wanted to share with all of you. May the spirit of God may have space. May find space in each heart to do his work and make your soul turn to him. God bless you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Praise the Lord. Now we have the sermon by her son, Buddha, Samuel. Sorry, the eulogy, the eulogy. Sorry, sorry, the eulogy by her son. Good afternoon to everyone. Afternoon. Thanks for everyone who's come out to say farewell to my mom. To those who are watching online as well, thank you very much for all the support over the years throughout our life. This is the eulogy for Jasmine Jocelyn Samuel, who was born on the 19th of May, 1967. Family of Fair Hall. Her parents were Philip Richards, father and mother, Millicent Samuel. Mom was the second child for her dad and the second for her mom as well. Throughout her childhood, she attended the Belmont uh, Primary School and thereafter, she attended the Emmanuel High School, Mesopotamia. Mom had five kids myself, Mozart, Justin, Orlando, Lanisha, and JJ, who is the youngest, or Jerome as everybody knows. Mom
Mom had a few different jobs throughout these years. One of the jobs that she had, she had to reside in Tortola or the BVIs. And I can remember as a kid growing up, one of our fun childhood memories that I have of my mom is that she would send for us overseas every summertime or whenever she can, and we spend some time there. Not many kids growing up in those days had those opportunities, but my mom was always a hard worker and she ensured that we had the good things and even more in life. After she had a job in BVI, she decided that she needed to have more money or better career, so she decided to move to the United States of America. I know that was one of the hardest decisions my mom ever had to make in her life because I spoke to her all the time about it. She had to make the ultimate sacrifice, even it meant sacrificing her own happiness to see that us as her kids never go without anything in this life. She was a very extraordinary, loving, caring person who had so much plans of this life. But the plans were cut short, and I know that pains us all. Myself and Orlando was there when my mom passed away. And if everybody knows, and anybody knows my mom, they will know that she loves her kids. She waited for that period of time until the both of us was there. And I can remember walking into that room, seeing our mom. She looked up to us. She couldn't say much. Myself and Orlando, we walked over to the bedside. I said a prayer for her. She looked up at us. Tears rolled down her cheeks. My mom took three deep breaths and she was no more in this war. The point that I'm trying to make is she loved her kids that much that she waited for us to get there before she leave this world. Mom passed away on the 30th of January, 2023 at 1.23 p.m. I know one of my mom's biggest regrets in this life is she, that she's always speaking about coming back to visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines. She loved this country more than anybody else could know, and she was devoted to it. You will be missed, mom, but you'll never be forgotten. We always love you. And we will always remember you. May your soul rest in peace. The peace that you so deserved over these years. Thank you very much. If you miss me, don't come searching.
mother. Mm -hmm. She is in a better place with the Lord. Mm -hmm. If she wants to be with his mother, you got to come and see. Amen? Amen. Take up his cross and follow the Lord Jesus Christ if he has not done that already. Praise the Lord. Now we have the hymn, Father Alone.
in the by and by. Hallelujah. Now we have the gospel and that will be done by our deacon Brent Williams. St. Matthew chapter 24, 35 to 42 verses. to the 
man, Christ Jesus. Praise God. Yeah, begin the gospel. Please stop. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angel of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were so, shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving marriage unto the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field. One shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Verse 42. Watch therefore for he knows not what hour your Lord doeth come. My brothers and sisters, these are the words of the Lord. We honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we are about to receive the man of God with the word of God, our oh, canon, Pastor Michael. Foster, Dean of this Cathedral, let us put our hands together and welcome him as we bring our words now. So we call this, we call this mic, we call this mic to the phone. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. And it's a blessing to be here today to bring to you the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. This will stand as reverend God in prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God of, and our Father, we say thank you this time, Lord, as we come into this assembly, O oh God, to fellowship together. I know, dear Lord, many are sad, O oh God. Many might be rejoicing at this time, dear Lord, you know, when we expect, O oh God, to have hope, as Paul says, dear Lord, their heart can be rejoiced, dear Lord. But Father, we pray for those, dear Lord, who might be saddened at this time, dear Lord. Oh God, may they find the comfort, dear God, that you alone can give. So I want to thank you, Lord, Father. Anoint my children, Lord, as about to deliver this word, oh God, Father. Oh God, speak to me at this, oh God. More of me and less of myself. I want to thank you for thy blessing, for thy richest grace, oh God. I want to thank you through Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Be we see can you put your hands together for the Lord? Give the Lord a clap of offering of praise. It's indeed a time that we should rejoice and have hope in the Lord even though you have lost your loved one. It is not all undone. Amen? In this time we need to have hope. Once she died in the Lord, I'm not a preacher to declare. I don't know the final moments with you and your God. So therefore I'm not going to declare. I, know, I do not know where she's gone to. Final moments come. As somebody says, it's not the first mile that is so important, but the last mile of the way. And so therefore, she had the last conversation between she and her God. But the thing is that, as the Bible declares, it's appointed unto man once to die, and after death is a judgment. But before I continue, I want to recognize in the house the pastors and um, the saints of God, the, the brethren from the Universal Church St. Vincent District I want to thank Almighty God that you are here with us and we trust that this sermon or this message or this, this service will be a blessing to your heart and I will also want to welcome those in the diaspora who is maybe fellowshipping with us God bless you and I really hope that you will enjoy a time of fellowship in the Lord we live here in this world my friends but our purpose we are not just here so, but we have a purpose in living on this earth. Praise the Lord. And also, the Bible tells us that 
our purpose living here is not so. But we were created by God for his glory. Amen, somebody? Amen. We were created. So you are here as an individual. You are not just here because you can be. You are on this planet earth because you are here. Your purpose on this earth is to glorify the living Christ. Amen. Somebody declares our life is a book of chapter 3. The morning, the afternoon, and the evening. And now I sing. Only the chorus. Sundown, sundown. I'm going home at sundown, sundown. No more to roam. Sweet voices are calling, calling you, and I'm going in home of sundown, 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 I'm going home at sundown, sundown, no more to roam, sweet voice is a calling, calling you, and I'm going home at sundown. Another time, sundown, sundown. I'm going home. Hallelujah. But sundown, sundown. No more to roam. Sweet voice is a calling calling you and I'm going home at sundown I will say it one more time sundown sundown I'm going hallelujah praise God sundown sundown no more to roam sweet voices are calling calling you and I'm going home at sundown hallelujah sundown sundown Lord. I'm going home at sundown sundown no more to roam sweet voice is a calling, calling you, and I'm going home at sundown. Praise the Lord. As I declare to you, our lives, all of us lives, are a book like of chapters of three chapters. Sun rays up in the morning, it's cool in this, and then it's go down. Down, down, down. The sister who is lying in the casket, praise God. She had her time in life, praise God. Maybe enjoy business, business life, I don't know. Until the day. You know, the Bible says that in the morning, the flowers are bright and glowing. But in the evening when the sun goes down, praise the Lord, they all bow their heads, praise God. And we all know some that we go, we go in the garden sometimes. There's certain type of grass. I don't remember the name much well. You know, sometimes they are going in the morning. They have crushes. Some of you may know what I mean. You know, and uh, sometimes we used to play up in there when we were little boys and so forth. You know, and in the evening, when you go and look at them, you see they close down. They come together. Amen. And so like our, our, our lives, we enjoy our lives during the period that we live. And a certain time of life, friends, our life at sundown, the sun go down upon our lives, amen. Are we no more to roam? So, like the sister Paul declares, to live it is Christ, but to die it is gain. Praise the Lord. Once her life is in God, she gone to a better place, amen. A place of comfort in the arms of the Lord Jesus Christ. We also, as Paul says, have run the race, have finished the course, and there's a crown laid up, not for me alone. But for all those who serve the Lord, for all those who labor in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
So friends, I'm asking you, let us get it right with the Lord. It's my trust that a sister made it right with the Lord. As I look at her body, if you notice, I asked the, 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 the cops to open back the casket. So I could have my final view and make sure the person is gone. I have the certificate already, but you know, for my own eyes. Praise the Lord. Looking beautiful even in the casket. Amen. Casket is looking beautiful. And so therefore, Jesus speak to those hypocrites that you, you, you look, I mean, you look like an outside tomb, garnished white, but inside, hallelujah, are dead man bones. So sometimes we are. This doesn't show us the final destination of our life. The beauty is on the inside. What she have done before. Because she have gone. Her life is sealed up already. You know, some people preach and tell you, oh, you can pray for their forgiveness. My Bible doesn't teach me that. Because when you pass away, friends, you are gone. Your life here is end. And if you live for God, Jesus said, do he live, do he die? He shall live. So if she's in the Lord, she's not dead, as Jesus declared. But he had to talk to the disciples plainly. Lazarus is dead. She gone to have a sleep in the Lord Jesus Christ. One of these days, praise the Lord, she's going to stand before, if, she's, if she is right with God, or made it right with God, she's going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Not the great white throne judgment, mind you. I always preach. They were like to resurrection. Once she's alive, she's gone. She will be up in the first resurrection. Can somebody give me an amen? amen. Praise God. And therefore, there will be another resurrection for the dead. Those of her out of the Lord, but blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for his grace. And we thank God for the beautiful life. And I encourage you to live your life good for God, friends. Because one of these is the Bible tells us it's appointed unto man. Once to die and after death, it is a judgment. So there's a judgment awaiting for all of us. What we need to do, as I said before, we are here to glorify God. We are not here just to live anyhow. But we are here, friends, to glorify the living Christ and to do his will. So at the last get in the morning, as we declare, hallelujah, we'll stand righteous as a matter of fact not when God come but we should be living righteous even now because if we live sinful all the time out of the Lord we are not going to end there now so those of you who are waiting and say well oh when Jesus come he's going to make me right he already came my friends he died for your sins and we have been made justified because of grace in the Lord Jesus Christ through his blood brothers and sisters according to the book of Matthew chapter 24 which I really want to get to in just a while but the Bible says, you know, that, praise the Lord, verse 25, sorry, this is Job. Let me get back to Matthew chapter 24. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Bible declares, praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So friends, I encourage you, serve the Lord and walk with the Lord. All is not done. Maybe you are grieving, maybe you are mourning now. All is not done. Jesus said, you shall see him again. Yes, I know I shall see him on the great resurrection. But Jesus says, I am the life. I am the truth and the way. So praise God, we shall see again. Once you live in the Lord, we shall see again, friends. So keep trusting the Lord with all of your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge and praise God. In these days, and mind you very much, as you live this life, as you live a life to serve God, as I declare to you this message of hope, where Paul says, we must have hope. And he said, I will not have you ignorant concerning those which are asleep in the Lord. But I will make you to understand the way that they are when they passed away from this life, once they served the Lord. And so Paul, let us know very much about those who die in Christ, that they gone to sleep. They enjoy this life in this holy garment, 
But as they pass away, praise the Lord, they're gone to take on. The Bible says in the twinkling of an eye, that's when the Lord comes, we shall be changed. The day that Christ shall rise when somebody help me. The day Christ shall rise when? Second? First. The day that Christ shall rise first. And those of us, so everybody, now let me taste this kind of death. Those of us who are alive and remain shall be caught up. So I encourage you, let us get ready for the rapture. The rapture will be soon come, my friends. We have seen the signs of the time everywhere. So let us not waste our life away. But let us be ready to go to meet the Lord in the rapture. Praise be unto the name of the Lord. Matthew chapter 24, 25. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I really love these words very much. The Bible declares, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass but my word. Let us live on the word of the Lord while we have breath in our bodies. Amen. Let's live in the, on the word of God and do the things that God really wants us to do. And one of the things I don't respect. I don't want to live religious, religiously. I might do some of the things that my religious asks me to do. But my purpose is not to live. The Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word. So therefore, let us stand in the word of God all the days of our lives. But of that day and hour, no man, no not the, in, not the angels of heaven, but my father. He's coming again. But the Bible says, that not even the son of man, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, not a time, not an hour. So therefore, what we need to do is to prepare ourselves, get ourselves ready to meet the Lord. Because we don't know when. Recently, a false prophet declared that he was coming. And a date that he was coming, not only one, but yet for many. Praise God. Declare it. I remember in reading once, you know, some people go up on hills and so forth, expecting the Lord is coming. But yet for they never see that. Recently, we noticed someone declared that he was coming. And they never seen that. Nobody knows. So how can a prophet declare the end time when he's coming? Whenever you hear that, it's a lie. Many people were preparing for the coming of the Lord. Be prepared now. Not when somebody says, who knows? That means God changed his mind? No. Nobody knows, my friend. So we need every day of our lives to be ready to meet the Lord. Because he can come, my friends. The time that you don't expect him to come... Therefore, he may just appear. And therefore, the question is, is your heart, is your heart ready with the Lord? One of these days, friends, we're going to walk the same journey. We might lie in a casket or a coffin, or we might not even have the opportunity. We might go down in the sea. But the Bible says, the sea is going to give up the dead. So what we need to do, prepare every day of our lives. Prepare for the coming of the Lord. Yes, there are certain areas that we have not seen yet. That's that's declared in the scripture. When the Lord shall come, but we still don't know. But we have seen the signs of the time. Jesus Christ has told us, as a matter of fact, the Bible has shown us great things that will happen before the coming of the Lord. But he said, this is not the end. Look at what is happening today. People don't even want to realize that there's a God. They live in their life anyhow. Enjoying themselves. Even the older folks, not only the young ones, even the older folks are still enjoying themselves in the pleasures of this world. But once you're saved, my friends, then you will have no desire for the things of the world. You'll want to live for God and live for him all the time, my friends. So therefore, every day we spend a earth, somebody says, we are drawing closer home. Amen? Amen. The sister was here and she was drawing closer to her death. Maybe sometime, I don't know how close I am. The Lord knows. I might feel sick. The doctor may give up on you. But it's not the doctor's word is the final word. Amen? Because doctors give up on many people, but they still live on. They still live on. They live many years after. So the doctor don't have the final say in your life. When God sits, the sister may not even expect she was going out. But when Mr. Dead come, praise the Lord, who can turn him back? One little joke I remember one of my brothers said, when my father was dying, he jumped off the bed. <laughs> I mean, he was running at least. You know what? But you know, God has his final stand upon life. Okay? And to you, my friends, as I said before, maybe you have not had an encounter with the Lord. And I'm going to give you an, an, an opportunity just now that you can accept him. 
You may not have an encounter with the Lord. You are living your life miserable. And you think, well, boy, I got time. When I just got baptized at a very young stage, you know, something used to say to me, look, no, man, wait until I get older and serve God. Who tell you so? The young one is dying and the old one is dying. I mean, many right now, the devil is saying to you, man, Christianity is for old people, not for young people. But I encourage you, John saw the dead, small and great. Hallelujah. He saw the tombs, the graves of small and great. So therefore, young ones are dying today. And many young ones are dying very fast. Several things that we, we, we go through and therefore we are going very quick. So I want you to look into your own life. And ask yourself, where will I spend my eternity? Will it be with the Lord or will it be in the lake of fire? And some people don't believe that either. But the Bible declares, in hell, not even the worm itself shall die. But there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. So my encouragement to you, as I deliver to you this message of hope, to encourage you to serve the Lord. Amen. And if your sister, your mother, your brother, or who gone, wants to die, live that life. And you're going to meet one of these days in the kingdom of the Almighty God. So much of vulgarity is taking place today. The Bible declares in verse 36, sorry, 27. But as the day, days of Noah were, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. And we are seeing very clearly today. No one is there. They were living their luxurious life. They were living their merry life. And the Bible tells us, as in the days of Noah, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. Friends, as I said before, there are many people who are living their reckless life and thinking it's all right. The last verse I preached in our church is that deceivers shall wax worse and worse and worse and therefore it is happening friends i remember one time i was sitting here you know that someone says oh the devil said he will mash up the churches the following week we heard what happened in Barbados it be one of the new testament churches that people went to the church and destroyed what friends if you are not in christ you're not safe as a matter of fact we are living here in this land and therefore we could be here right now and go out the road and somebody pop us up you know somebody bully us up but therefore that's what we need to live for god because we don't know what will happen look at what are we talk about in the days of noah so shall be the common look at what happened, happened in turkey recently maybe some of them didn't expect it to happen look at so much things earthquakes are we after seeing all these things are we still gonna be stubborn and hard that we don't really want to serve God? These things are taking place, my friend. In the last year or so, or e yes, in the last year or so, you consider the amount of people who have been passed away from this. Some of them died of sinner's death. They have not known the Lord because of chaos that is taking place in the world. Today, friends, in Russia, in Ukraine, and so forth, look at what is happening, friends, around the world today. Men are fighting because of greed. Men are fighting because of a piece of earth. Who God says, we don't own nothing down here, friends. We don't own anything down here. All belong to the Lord. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, said the Lord. None of us own anything. I may have a house. I may have a piece of land. It's not mine zone. Because when God ready, he goes to take us away. And the land is still right there. Amen. So let us live for God without greed and envy of people. I'll give you a little, a little one of our lives in the beginning. We see how the life ends. The sun goes down upon our lives. In the beginning of time, God created man, hallelujah, in his own image. And therefore, God, you know, he, you know, he created man. And the main thing which I normally said sometimes, the energizer. Without the spirit of God in you, my friends, what kind of power you could have? So we need a spirit of God according to the book of Acts. After that, the Holy Ghost, which is the spirit of God coming to us, then, you know, we're going to go as a bold witness for the Lord. As I was saying is that, you know, God created man from the dust of the ground. Amen. But man was not a living soul yet. Amen. Man was not, a, not, man was not living yet when God created from like a lump of dirt the underground. But until God breathed, hallelujah, his breath into man, he becomes a living soul. Amen. I always say the breath is very important. Hallelujah. It's very important. And I really love it. 
I love the breaks. You know, so therefore, when God put that breath into man, he, he became a living soul. He got life, as I said, the energizer. You know, he got energy, he became, he became alive. He becomes a living soul. But God created him as a righteous being. Not just because he was righteous, and God created him. Yes, he had a body. But therefore, an eye that can see, but the old deceiver, the deception, the devil, whom is not our friend. Amen? I said, the devil is not our friend. Therefore, that old serpent came around to deceive mankind. So he is still doing today. And I want us, let us not obey the devil's deception, his lies. Who are me and you? If you lie to God, what about me and you? If you lie upon God, what about a man who don't have no respect? Therefore, he will also, it's not impossible for you to lie upon me and you to say God is not such and such. And therefore, that is what's happening today. When God says something, and the devil, one of the things he always do, he patronizes God, but that doesn't mean that he only patronizes. With the things that God do, you will have people also doing the same thing and make you think he is God. They're, they're, they're doing God's will, but they're not. But we have to open our eyes, well, friends, to detect who is of God from who is not of God. As we, are, as, as we are living in these times. So friends, so man in the beginning, so he at the end. God created him of the earth, praise the Lord, so he was also earthy. And now this woman who is earthy, she going back to the earth, amen? That's where she came from. And all of us came from the earth. And so therefore, she will be going back in a few moments from now. There's where you might find, or others might be crying and they might be shedding tears because you know, this is the last moment I'm going to really see any glimpse of where my mother, my, my sister, my auntie is. But friends, I say to you, have hope. Have hope in the Lord. So let us remember that I know not until the flood came and took them away, all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for judgment? A glad is coming. A glad day is coming. A glad day is coming. A glad day. Coming by and by, when this will be parted right and left, are you ready for the day? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Sad is coming, and sad is coming. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Mm. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus. When the saints and the sinner will part it right and left, are you ready for the judgment day? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah. You might be hard in your heart and stiff in your neck. As the Bible says, as in the day of Noah was a flood, praise the Lord. And as Noah preached, as I taught recently that he was the first evangelist in the Bible. As I was doing evangelism. Yes, he sent a message to the wicked people. And therefore, the people were miserable in the book of Genesis. The Bible says how the people were growing massive, but they were giants, but they were wicked. Never realizing 
the dangers of their lives. They were living anyhow. They were living luxurious. They were enjoying the pleasures of this world. And even the word preached, repent. They still didn't take heed of their own lives. And what happened? Noah, God sent him, he gave him a word. Noah, go and build me an ark with various information. And you need to obey. Noah, Noah obeyed the Lord and he went and he built an ark. And as in the days of Noah, the scoff Noah, the Bible says, there will be scoffers in these days as they scoff him. What is man building this, this big massive wood boat for? But for a purpose and God with a purpose, my friend. There was a plan of God. But the people didn't realize, and so in our day, people are scoffing, they're jumping around, they're enjoying themselves in the pleasure of sin. So like it was in the days of Noah, they only realize God. When the waters, praise the Lord, begin to raise the ark. Then they realize, Noah can come into the ark. He gave a word, like we are saying today, enter the ark of safety. But therefore, they were not until this is the great flood. Praise the Lord. As somebody declares, maybe they declare, oh, Father, no, okay, no, but God, when God closes the door, not even the pastor, the bishop or who will be able to open it. Amen, somebody? What God closed. And if Noah had the power, with a human heart, he might have opened the door for them. But that was a righteous place, amen? There's a water, an ark of safety, but you live your life very miserable, and so you're going to end up. So therefore, like today, the message is given, come into the ark of safety, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Many are refraining. They are seeing the signs of the time. I remember very recently, you know, some people say, maybe the leeward end, I was seeing, um, those stones were falling and jumping on people's building. I listen to people, they say, oh God, Jesus is coming. But when that storm over, praise the Lord, they gone back to the same old way of living. When, therefore, we see storms arising away, therefore, we want God. But as soon as they are over, my friends, we do not want God anymore. But I want to say to you, Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father, but by me, he said. And therefore, that's the reason why we need to live good today. We need to live in the Lord. Because somebody says, you know, you know, when you're dead, you're done. But you still have a judgment to face, my friends. You still have a judgment you're waiting for. God knows how he will do it. So finally, friends, I want to encourage you. Live for Jesus. Trust him. And so he is the only way. Those of you, if you are here, and you are living that miserable life, your life is not saved, there's an opportunity that you can be saved and give your heart to the Lord. You're not giving your heart to me. You're not giving your heart to a pastor. You're not giving your heart to church, but give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be unto the name of the Lord. I'm going to sing about this cross, and then I'm going to turn back to the, the host. Praise the Lord. You start a song from eternity again as I sing. Praise the Lord. Praise be unto the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, eternity again. Praise the Lord. Mighty God, God in the name of Jesus, Shata, Lord God, I thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, eternity, eternity. Can we all stand on our feet? Can we all stand on our feet at this time? Eternity. The question asked, the question asked, Lord, mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah, oh, 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 Lord, oh, Lord God, the question, oh, Lord, and submit, where will, oh, Lord, not today. You cannot sing eternity again. Eternity is joined there. Is joined there. Eternity. Oh, is joined there. Eternity. 
mighty God, mighty God. Can you sing one more time, friends, eternity? Oh, eternity, 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 eternity. Eternity is joined there. Mighty God, mighty God. His joy is eternity. His joy is Hallelujah, praise God. If you're not saved as in the days of Noah, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. If you want to be saved even now, I can save you. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And therefore, friends, if you want to be saved, you can give your heart to the Lord even now. So therefore, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you can come forward and come with your heart to the Lord. I'm waiting for you. I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can you lift your hands if you want the Lord Jesus Christ now? On the grave, they praise the Lord. Small and great, hallelujah. The graves are there. And just now, we're going to lead his, going to lead his sister in the tomb. One of these days, you have to walk the same road. Me and you. So, therefore, at this time, I don't want you to think religion. Because as I said before, religion cannot save you. But we thank God for his blessing. If you're not saved and you refuse to come, therefore, our, the blood is saved from us, Lord. We give you an opportunity. So God bless you as I turn back now to the host in Jesus' name. Hello. When people have different religion, you don't know what they believe. Don't do these things. If it's a spiritual baptist, why?
Let me say a word. Please, for a very short moment, if the person here, let me come for a very short moment and ask the cops to open the casket. It's not a practice habit for us because at the burial ground, it will not be open. So the person, I don't want to see rushing up here, I'm going to ask to close the coffin or the casket. So please, you can have a view for about two minutes and then we'll shut back down for final. Call for the people of a funeral home. They have to be around because we had to move just now. So there's someone out on the outside. Why are they coming back right now? They're coming back. They got you, bro. Forget about that, it goes in there. I'll tell them when. You finish? You better change, change the boy, you know. You better change, you know. <laughs> I don't tell the people in the clothes already will close. You have to take your time. This is something you have, um, um, what is called the um, um, any commendation in that book? There's a read at the door. Let me see what they have. From there to there, just from the parlor. When you reach at the door, okay? Just from there to there, nothing else.
righteous man to though he die, all he will be at rest. For all age is not honor, for length of time nor measure by numbers of years. But understanding is great here for men, and a blameless life ripe old age. There was one who pleased God and was loved by him, and will living among sinners, he was taken up, he was caught up, lest evil change his understanding, O oh, guy deceive his soul. Justin, Justin, the judge and the man are coming. Strength,
Like a flower, he fled as war a shadow and never continued. It won't stay. In the midst of life, we are in debt, of whom we seek for succor. But you, Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased, yet our Lord God, mostly holy, O oh Lord, mighty, O oh holy and most merciful Father, Savior, deliver us. 
not in the bitter pain of death. Don't waste, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not their merciful ears to oppress, but steer us, Lord, most holy. O oh God, most mighty, O oh holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy and judge eternal. The most worthy judge, eternal suffering, does not at our last hour for any things of death to fall through. Almighty God, who by thy death of thy dear Son Jesus Christ has destroyed death by his rest in the tomb, has sanctified the grave of the sin, and by his glorious resurrection has brought life and immortality to life. Receive we, beseech thee, our unfurring thanks for that victory over death and the grave which he had obtained for us and for all who sleep in him. Keep us in everlasting fellowship with all that wait for thee on the earth and with, and with all that are around thee in heaven in union with him who is the resurrection and the life who liveth and reigneth with thee, and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. from heaven saying unto me rise from henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the Lord even so said the spirit for they rest from their labor almighty God with whom do we live 
works, the spirit of those who depart in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful, after they are delivered from the burden of the flesh, are we enjoying facility. We give thee hearty thanks for the good examples of all those thy servants who have finished their course in faith to do, do not rest from their labors. And we beseech thee that we, with all those who are departed in the true faith of, the whole, of thy whole name, may have perfect communion and bliss, both in the body and soul, and in thy eternal and everlasting glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. <laughs> I just lost my stuff there while, so For as much as it had pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister, we therefore commit her body to the ground all to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom, of whose second coming in glorious life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, and whose second coming in the glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself through jesus christ our lord you can sing now and walk today is our Oh, no. 
of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all even for more. Amen. Okay, let's come, 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 come. Take up the standard from the youth of the land and we give her a garment to wear and stop we will crown how we bruise to wear. We will crown how we bruise it. Crown how we bruise it to wear. Oh, we will crown how we bruise it. Crown how we bruise it. Crown how we bruise it to wear. Oh, Jesus love to you. The children sing. Come how we close it to wear. We will come how we close it. Come how we close it. Come how we close it to wear. One of them have a white head man. We will come how we close it. 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 Come how we close it.
Because they got whoever wants to know what he is now. No put them too close to the artificial flowers, eh? Yellow. Yo, you won't go out there. Let the present. Because it's not the two artificial.